Hi everyone, in this video we'll study Prim's algorithm for finding the minimum spanning tree in a graph. In this video we'll study Prim's algorithm using a simple example and we'll not talk about the implementation details. For the implementation details, please look at the next video in this playlist. Now, Prim's algorithm is used for finding the minimum spanning tree in a graph. As you can see, I have split my iPad screen into two halves. On the left, what we will have is Prim's algorithm and on the right, we will work out the example. So first, let's try to understand the algorithm. So what Prim's algorithm achieves is to find the minimum spanning tree. So the objective is to grow a tree. To do that, what we will do is we'll pick any vertex R in this graph. We will call that vertex R to be the root of the tree. Now, the idea is to keep adding vertices into this tree while it till it does not contain all the vertices in the graph. Okay. And you will add those the vertices in such an order such that you're always finding the shortest edge leaving the tree. Okay, and then you will add it to the tree. This is the high-level idea of Prim's algorithm. Now, if your graph contains V vertices and E edges, the running time of Prim's algorithms is O of mod V plus mod E, or basically the cardinality of V and E multiplied with log of V. So that's basically the runtime of Prim's algorithm. Now let's look into more details of this algorithm. What you do is, or what the algorithm does is, in step zero, it will choose any vertex R. Now S is where you're going to keep all the vertices of this tree. And A is the set where you're going to keep the edges of this minimum spanning tree. So initially S will contain R. And R will be the root of this minimum spanning tree. A will initially be the null set. Now in the next step, which is step one, what you will do is, or what the algorithm will do is, find a lightest edge such that one point of it is in S and the other point is in V minus S. So we have two groups, S, which contains the edges, or sorry, which contains the vertices in this tree, and V minus S are the other vertices in the graph. Now you're gonna find an, the, an edge which goes from S to V minus S and you're going to find the lightest edge and then what you're going to do is you're going to add this edge to A and that's what is the algorithm. Now when will this algorithm stop? When V minus S goes to null there are no more vertices left you're just going to output S and A and that would be your minimum spanning tree. Otherwise, till V minus S has not reached null, you'll go back to step one, okay? So let's try to understand this algorithm using an example. So we have this example on our right. So this is the graph that we are gonna be interested in, okay? So it has vertices A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and it's a connected graph. Now let's just start off by picking one vertex at random. Let's just pick A. So that is our step zero. You just pick A. Now you add A to S. Now what is B minus S? It's the other vertices, which is B, C, D, E, F, and G. And what is the lightest edge? Okay, so that's what we have now created, S and B minus edge. Now we are looking at the lightest edge. Now the lightest edge is the edge that has the least weight, which crosses from S to V minus S. That is one point of this edge is in S and the other point of this edge is in V minus S. Now, from A, there are two edges that leave it. Therefore, they are AB and AC. Now, between these two edges, one point of them is in S because S currently only contains A and the other part is in V minus S, and the lightest edge is AB because that is the edge with the least weight. So you're gonna take this edge and then add it to A. So now let's try to understand the next step. The next step, what we are gonna do is, you've added AB. Now, 
S now contains A and B. And V minus S contains C, D, E, F and G. Okay. So now you're going to find the lightest edge that crosses from S to V minus S. Note that S now contains A and B. So first let's look at all the vertices, all the edges that go from S to V minus S. There is AC, there is BC, there is BD, and then there is BE. Now there are two lightest edges here, AC and BD, okay? Because both of them have weight 8. What you're going to do is, you're going to choose one of them. Let's just choose, what we did is, let's just choose BD, okay? So now S is going to be ABD and V minus S is going to be C, E, F and G. Now once again, we are going to try to find the lightest edge crossing S to V minus S. So let's first look at all the different edges that exist. There is AC, there is BC, there is CD, there is DE, there is BF, and then there is BE. These are all the different edges that exist. Now, the lightest edge is going to be CD. Now, if you look here the, at A, it or A already has the edges that have been added to the minimum spanning tree, AB and BD. And the lightest edge is CD, which is, or DC, which is, has a value of 2. So, we are going to add that to the minimum spanning tree. So now C has been added to the minimum spanning tree along with the edge DC. So at this point, we are next going to find out all the edges that cross from S to V minus S and we are going to pick the lightest edge. So by this time, you would have gotten the idea and you're just going to keep repeating this process. So here, let's look at all the different edges. AC is not cannot be selected because that edge is between two vertices in S. Okay, so AC, BC, these do not, we are not going to be, we looked at any more. So the, the edges that cross are CF, there is DF, there is DE, and then there is BE. Among these, CF is the lightest edge. Therefore, you're going to add CF to the set A and F to set S. So this is how the minimum spanning tree will look like at this stage of the algorithm. Now we are going to look at all the edges that cross from S to V minus S. Now V minus S currently has E and G. So the edges that cross over are BE, there is DE, there is FE, and there is FG. These are the four edges that you're going to consider. Among them, FG is the least because that has a value of 2. And so you're going to add FG to A and G to S. So once you've added G to S, your V minus S only has E, all the other um, uh, vertices have been added to S. So we are now going to look at the different edges that go from S to V minus S. The edges are BE, DE, FE and GE. Among these, FE is the least and it has a value of 5. So you're going to add Fe to A and E to S. So this is how this minimum spanning tree would look like. At this stage, this is your minimum spanning tree. 
and your minimum spanning tree has been completed. So, so if you have to output your minimum spanning tree, basically you're going to output S, which are all the vertices of this um, graph, and A is going to give you your set of edges in this minimum spanning tree. So with this, we have finished our discussion of Prim's algorithm. What we are going to do in the next video is we'll look at how to implement Prim's algorithm efficiently and how, how we go about doing it. With this, I'll conclude this video. Thank you for watching.